Now, at the beginning of the month, two builders contacted me and they're like, Hey, we want to do something. We want to do something. And since Spooky Man came to haunt me again this year, I honestly thought he would have changed his mind after last year's incident. I was feeling them, the vibes, those true spooky nights. And so we all decided to build a Halloween themed mock. If you want to get into the season and just feel a fall vibe, I'd literally recommend you guys to go check out these builders. They're seriously talented. One of them's like an actual wizard. And I've heard the other one is a full blown ostrich. You better go on over right now. Hate that juicy tomato. Yeah. With Halloween on the rise, I grabbed my cup of Kirkland Signature and started building. Alright, so the weather's feeling really nice outside and I want to go skate, so let's keep this brief. Now, horror movies have never been my thing. Like, The Nightmare Before Christmas still scares me. So with this build I wanted to go for something more playful, lighthearted, and almost cartoony. Out front, we have the basic necessities. We got our scarecrow, mailbox, chicken, and then this path leading up to this stone wall. And no, that is not edible snack. That is fence gate. Get it right. Fence gate. I've said it once before. I'll say it again. I'm going to explain trees in a different video. These pappies, man, they make me happy, but I'm going to talk about them later. Maybe you can meet a thousand subscribers. That'd be dope. Cause then I'll make your tree video, all right? All you gotta know is they're 100% Lego, no cheats at all. Other than trees to fill the space, I wanted to make the house feel lived in. So I added a lot of clutter around, like this overturned barrel, this broom propped against the side, some logs over here, and this pretty nice wheelbarrow. I guess we should probably talk about the house now. I mean, for this build I wanted like a very comical, cartoony, messed up, ramshackled, I just used a lot of words there. Basically, I just wanted it to look all silly and like the whole thing's gonna fall apart in seconds. Which, it actually does, it falls apart all the time. I was able to fit some fun techniques into the roof like nets and flex tube, and then I have this curved tower coming out of the side, which was really fun to build. And then as for the interior, uh oh, yeah, it, uh, I would've covered it up, I'm sorry. I didn't have time, alright? Alright? But actually, that gives us a good look at um the madness. Like, this is... I, I don't even... This is horrible. If you can't tell already, this part of the mock I hate just because I spent, like, so long on it, and I'm glad it's over. I was able to incorporate some lights, which I'm pretty proud of. These are Brickstuff lights. I've been using them for almost a year now, and I gotta say, this is a really nice product. They're not a sponsor. I mean, if you want... Hit me up. And then I hooked them up to this effect panel where I can like make this light flicker. Party time! One last thing I'd like to mention. Now, I've built a lot of freeform, but sometimes it's best just to go back to the tried and true black border. Alright, I think that's about it. So I know in my normal videos I'd like break things down, I'd like tear the whole thing apart, tell you how it's made. And so if that's still something you want to see, make sure you go tell me, uh, in the comments um, on the left. Don't forget to subscribe to the other people in this collab. Have a great Halloween. Trick or treat. Be safe. Let's go.